Hello everybody, welcome to a new video from uh, sound for mo In this video we're going to start uh, a series of tutorials on ID700. ID700 is a fantastic vintage uh, digital synth based on the Buchlach 700 uh, synthesizer. Um, in this first video I'm going to go through um, the UI so that you can get familiar with how it works from a controls perspective. So at the moment I'm running ID700 as a, a standalone uh, synth or application, as you can see. It's split in a number of sections at the screen. At the top you have um, uh, this section here, which I'm highlighting with the mouse, where you can choose to see the algorithm the preset, like so, or also the settings. Let's go back to the algorithm. In the middle, you can see the waveform. If I click on wave A here, or you can also see the modulation screen as well, if I click on any other modules. And at the bottom here, you see the controller. So the keyboard where you can change up and down the octave. You have a latch function to hold your note and you see the activity on the voices. Um, ID700 has um, 12 voices, as you can see here, and each voice goes through 16 modules. Here on the left, you see two wave, wave A, B, then you see four oscillators, so that makes six, plus a filter and a morph module, so that's eight. On the right-hand side, you, you see a location at the top here and uh, amplitude mode, in, uh, sorry, module here, which makes your 10, and then you have six indexes, okay? And that is your 16 modules. So for each voice, which you have 12, you have 16 modules running. And you see the modules up here in a configuration, which um, is based on 12 algorithms, which you can choose from here, like so, and you can go up to 12. Okay, you can change the time scaling here and also the fine tuning. And you have the main output on the right hand side here when you are in the algorithm view. If you press on one of the key keys on the keyboard, you can see here also a meter and output meter as well. And as I mentioned a moment ago, on the top screen you see the algorithm view or the preset here, where you can choose between different categories like the adagio, the bass, drum, etc. And then you can go inside each of the category and choose uh, one of them and it will show you the file description with MIDI sources and the description on the right hand side. Here is where you can save if you modify your preset, save as a new one, you can share it, delete, etc, etc. You also have a settings um, view where you can change the audio setting, your medium setting, the tuning, and also some advanced settings. Let's go back to the algorithms. Now ID700 is um, supporting uh, MIDI of course, but it is also an MP um, compatible app. So, and let's try here. So if I click on a key and then uh, slightly up, I can change the timber. So just remember that. <clears throat> the other thing I wanted to show you before I change to the AUV3 version is that when you press, uh, you click here on a module on the algorithm, it shows that module underneath, which is the same as clicking on another module here on the left or right screen. Okay. Each module uh, are come pre-configured in an algorithm, as I explained earlier, and you have 12 of those. Okay, I like to actually go for number seven, which is easier. Normally, the uh, is you start with uh, um, from the bottom here, for example, on oscillation number three, then it goes up to index number one, then it goes to oscillator number two, index two, and then into oscillator number one. And you can see the similar here from the bottom to the top, from oscillator number four, index four, then into oscillator number one. Two inputs under the inside the same module are combined. And from here, you can see it's going to index three or index six. So from index six, you can go into wave B, and from index three, you can go into wave A. Both wave A and wave B goes to the morph module, okay? 
which is down here because there's not enough space on the screen. Then from the Morph module, you go into the filter, then from the filter to the amplifier, and then from the amplifier to the location. So effectively, all the indexes, wave and oscillators goes go always through the Morph, Filter, Amplifier, and Locatio module. For each of the module, with the exception of Wave A and B, you have also the possibility to change the envelope here for modulation. So you have an envelope for each of the different module, which is really cool. Now, let's move to the AUV3 version. I'm inside AUM, so let's create a new audio channel and let's load um, ID700. As you can see, it loads pretty quickly. Let's um, maximize the window. Let's connect it to the AUM keyboard and let's um, reformat the size of the window. As you can see, there is not enough space to show everything. So at the moment, you see the algorithm view. You can change it to the preset and the settings as you were doing on the standalone version, but also you have two additions, um, if you like selection, one the wave modulation, to show you the wave modulation, and also you have the controllers to show you the keyboard as well. Now, if you were to hide the keyboard and maximize this window, you like at the very top like so and then move these down you can see two windows and like and at the same time two sorry two views at the same time but you never go back to the three views you have in the standalone version and that's because you have this additional space here which is taken by AUM so um i like to use it inside the AUM and the reason is because um, you see the controller, which are a little bit bigger, and it's easier to actually uh, see what I'm changing. And the additional thing as well is when I'm inside the wave modulation, I can still reach to my, all my module, like so. So it's very straightforward. And of course, uh, you need to select an algorithm first, and then go to the wave modulation, do all your changes. And then you can play, of course, with the AUM keyboard. Please remember that the AUM keyboard doesn't support the MPE settings, so you either use the controllers and you move up and down as you're pressing on a key, as I, as I demonstrated earlier, or you could load, for example, an external controller or something else, like, for example, if you create a MIDI channel, you could actually uh, select something like KB1 as a MIDI processor connected into um id uh, the id 700 and then when you open this up you can choose a, a new configuration like the mpe lead and as i can show you very quickly if i go to the timber again and i choose one preset and now let's try you can change the timber itself. Okay, so that is as much as I wanted to go through the first tutorial. I hope you enjoy and see you at the next one. Bye.